So what's up guys, Carlos, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do a typographic logo or banner or wallpaper, whatever you feel like doing. Something as you see on my background now. Uh, go ahead and uh, start by opening up your Photoshop that you use. Alright, let's start a new canvas. I'm going to make it a big canvas today so you guys can see exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use the default Photoshop side right now. Make it a transparent. <clears throat> All right, now basically I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and make a solid back right here. I'm gonna make it a full black background. I'm gonna go ahead and get the type tool out. Go ahead and stretch it the whole way across here. Make it bigger than normal. And I'm gonna do four point font. We're gonna do I'm gonna do CGF, which is a nice little font that I like to use. Right. I'm gonna type in influential gaming. What you do is you hit Command C or Control C, and you can just copy and paste it. Just keep copying and pasting over and over again. Command C. I didn't change the color of the font, which is not a big deal because we can always go back and change that. After it's all done pasting, you can go ahead and highlight everything and change your font. I'm going to go ahead and do like a grayish white here. Not too bright. It's about right. Alright, we'll go ahead and take this and we'll go negative 25 up here and make, give it an angle. Vertical scale. Apply it. Still got some room there. So what we can do is we can hit the type tool again. Bring it to the end of it there. Stretch that image. Go ahead and hit Control V or Command V on the Apple. And apply your image. Go run to that same image again. Excuse my aim. <laughs> I'm a little bit brighter here, and you can switch and find the color that best fits you and stuff, you know? Alright, after you got that, that's your background. What you want to go ahead and do is just rasterize it and then lock it so you don't ever interrupt that layer anymore. Alright? From here, we can go ahead and make something. You can either bring in a logo or you can start something with your own font. Obviously, let's crease the font here. Let's do 30. I'll go ahead and type influential. Size it up to what you want. You can press the shift button when sizing. Helps you keep size proportions together. If you didn't know that, it's a little useful tip. Press the shift button and uh, you can highlight both your layers and move them at the same time, you know. Um, so we have that. I'm going to change these layers, the color on them, to a bright white so it sticks out. You just switch over to your white. Go ahead and do that for the gaming layer also. Alright, now what the trick is, is you hit soft light on your opacity on your layer. And what this is, does is it makes it transparent and you can see your background. And that's what brings out the typographic logo. Um, from here, you can go ahead and duplicate that layer by pressing Control J or Command J, and you can make it a little bit brighter there. And the other trick to do so, you can still change the color of the layer if you'd like. Um, some people might not want white. You can still change it to, or say, a green, and you have your green layer. Let's say we can change the influential one. Say we want a blue. All right. Um, from here, people want to do that. <coughs> you can make a new layer by hitting your layer button down here below. Drag it to the top. You want to 
take out your gradient tool right here and make sure you have the circle gradient checked off and make your gradient I already have a pre-made from transparent zero opacity to 100 percent black and then black alright what you do is you start off at the middle of your start off the middle of your image go ahead and go right up to the end of it and then create your opacity layer you can actually bring it down under these layers if you like possibly just like that and you can bring it all the way down under it's not a big deal something like that I mean obviously you can go ahead and change all this to what you want And obviously you create some of that. Use your own imagination. It's just showing you guys how to basically create a typographic logo or a banner or whatever you feel like it. A wallpaper like you see on my desktop below. That basically completes this tutorial for you guys. Um, hope you guys learned something. And I'll see you guys soon on my next tutorial. Enjoy.